In this video tutorial, you will learn how to find, create, and use the htaccess file in WordPress. For servers running Apache web server software, htaccess is a rather powerful configuration file. It enables and disables certain functions that Apache web software offers. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to find the htaccess file, how to create it, as well as its uses. To access your htaccess file, you have to access your root files, which you can do by using cPanel or FTP. So, log into your cPanel account, then click on File Manager. Since I'm working on my subdomain, I will look for that folder. If you're working on your main domain, then open this folder called public underscore HTML. Double-click on the folder to open it. And here you can see there's a file called htaccess. If you don't see this file here, then click on Settings. And make sure that the Show Hidden Files option is checked. This is because, by default, the WordPress htaccess file is hidden. So, if I uncheck this option, and reload the folder, my htaccess file is not visible now. So, I'm just going to undo this change. And the htaccess file is back. Creating the htaccess file is very easy. Before I create it, let me delete this file first. So, go back to your WordPress dashboard, then go to Settings, and click on Permalinks. You do not have to make any changes here. Just click on Save Changes. Now back in our root folder. Just reload the folder, and your htaccess file is now created. This is an easy method, and it should work most of the time, but occasionally it results in an error. So, the other method is to create the file yourself. So, let me delete this file again and show you how. Now, you'll have to copy this code in a text editor. For WordPress multi-site network users, you need to copy this code, then paste it into a text editor. And save this file. Name this file .htaccess. And then click on Save. Now you have to upload this file to your root folder. So click here on Upload. And select the file from your computer. Once the upload is finished, reload your root folder. Make sure the name of the file is .htaccess. So, I'll just rename it here. And that's how you can create a new htaccess file in WordPress. The htaccess file has many uses. Using your htaccess file, you can do things like banning a specific IP address, redirection, enabling browser cache, and stop directory browsings, just to name a few things. You can visit our blog to know more about the uses of the htaccess file. I'll link it in the description below. This is how you can find, create, and use the htaccess file in WordPress. That's it for today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. And if you like this video, 
please click on the like button. If you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.